Hey everybody, Ryan Jaso again with Frank DeRees from Brilliance LED. Frank actually made me very happy today. He doesn't know it, but uh, I thought he was just coming in to talk uh, fixtures, which I love talking fixtures, don't get me wrong. But um, he, he then asked me after that conversation whether I'd seen the, his new color changing LEDs. And uh, I kind of feel out of the loop because I knew they were coming at some point, but I didn't realize how close. We yes. were on it. So, uh, what we have here is the PAR 36 uh, color changing. It's a 9 watt, and they are also going to be unveiling a 5 watt MR60. Yes, sir. Correct? Yep. So, this is going to be happening soon. Uh, probably release this video after it's official. <laughs> <laughs> the time being, it's a secret. But, yep. uh, what we're going to talk about. Uh, briefly are some of the capabilities of this Absolutely. Um, and then how it's going to be controlled with the same app that can also control that brilliance smart socket. Yes. So I'm going to turn off a couple lights now. This is why it looks a little weird. Uh, I'm Maybe one of these days I'll, I'll get some blackout curtains for this room, but sorry, this is the best I can do. Um, let's fire up this app and let's just play around with it a little bit and talk about uh, what can be done. Absolutely. So we'll go ahead and turn this on. So as Ryan said, this is our part 36, it's a nine watt product. So what you're gonna be able to do is, uh, customers that have the VLED or the Brilliance socket right now, you'll be able to house your socket and your color changing lamps, both the part 36 nine watt and the MR16 five watt. You'll be able to house everything on one app. So be able, you'll be able to you know, adjust your socket and also play with your lamps in a sense, you know? Um, so basically, in that, with that being said, this lamp will do color changing, it will do Kelvin temperature changing, and it will do dimming as well, all in one shot. What do you want to start with? So let's start with the white first. So right now, this is about a 6,000 Kelvin. That's what you're seeing on the board. Now, once you get the app and you look at the app, you'll see how easy this is. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to do, just so everybody knows, I will do a screenshot with me actually using the app. So you can see exactly step by step uh, how easy this is. Correct. So you have four pre-designated Kelvin temperatures already on the screen when you're in what we call white mode. Um, you have 2200, 2700, 3000, 5700 silver. So you guys that use Brilliance LED, you know those are the four Kelvin temperatures that we have in our um, in our lamps. Um, right now you're sitting at about 6000. Um, so I can either go to one of those pre-adjusted ones. So let's say I want to go down to 2200. I can just press 2200 and there you go. Um, or if I feel like I want to be somewhere between 2700 and 3000, I can easily just move my little cursor and it's going to go wherever I want it to go. That right there claims it's about 2800 Kelvin. Yeah. I can continue to go on and keep going up and get it brighter. Even a little past 5,700, which will be about 6,000 Kelvin, okay? The other cool thing is from this side on the white mode, I can also dim this. So I can bring this down as far down as that. And we can bring it back up and anywhere in between. This is a slider, so you can use your finger. You can go whatever percentage you'd like all the way across from 0 to 100. And once it's set, it's set, you close the app, and it's going to be set like that, at that brightness, at that Kelvin temperature, Correct. until you change it again. Correct. Until you decide to open your app and play around with it again. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, and one thing that, that I wanted to make sure could be done is that you're able, to, you're going to be able to group yes. the, these LEDs together. And that's Absolutely. going to be really important. Um, so that if you are doing color changing and... Sorry, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself, no, but okay. when, when we talk about the color changing and those functionalities, um, that the effects will all happen at the same time if you want them to happen at the same time. You can group them or you can do them individually. Yep, absolutely. So on the app, you'll be able to have an infinite number of lamps or sockets. or So for the contractors that want to house all the sockets that they have out there or all the lamps that they have out there, I mean, in a, from a contractor standpoint, I think it's awesome because you can take the two sockets you have at the Johnson home and the eight color changing lamps, group them all together on your app and label it as the Johnson home. And now you know that every time you go over there, you can open up that section and you'll have all their lamps and all their sockets on there. And if you need to do service work, 
it's really ready to touch of a finger, mm -hmm. you know? And if the contractor decides to house all this information, in theory, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but can they change the Johnson House colors from their own office? Yes, they can. Yeah. So they do have access to it. Yeah. Now, some contractors may not want to have that, and so mm -hmm. what would happen in that case would be they would set it up initially for the customer, and then they will share it with the customer based on their phone number, and then they can delete it from their phone and they're done with it. Yeah. And that most That's of a the nice time, option yeah, to have. Yeah. That, that is a nice option to have, absolutely. But to answer your initial question, yes, they can all be grouped. So if you have 10 of them in your house, and let's say they're all in your backyard, you can group them as backyard, and then you can adjust them accordingly, all of them. Or if you do want to have each individual one, you know, you can also have that kind of access. Well. Yeah, great, great. Um, and that's all done via Wi-Fi. That's all done via Wi-Fi. Yeah. The whole app, the lamps, the, the brilliant, brilliant socket is all done. Everything is through Wi-Fi. Yes. Out of curiosity, what if your Wi-Fi signal out in the yard is pretty weak? So that's that's one obstacle that we've come we've come you know it's been brought up to us. Mm -hmm. um, fastest recommendation is an extender. Yeah, repeaters. A, a Wi-Fi repeater yeah. or a Wi-Fi extender will help tremendously. Yeah. Um, I will say, based on personal experience, I've used I've messed with this lamp in my own home on a tree that I have in my front yard, which is about five feet from the street. My Wi-Fi box or router is upstairs in a back bedroom. So this tree is right next to the sidewalk, which then has a very small swale and then the street. And I was playing with this lamp on my phone in the median in front of my house. And my Wi-Fi router is all the way in the back of the house on the second floor. Mm -hmm. So it's got some pretty decent range. I think people will be happy with the range that it has already as it is there it's not going to be something where you're going to have to stand right next to it yeah you're going to have some range but if you do have a, a decent sized yard and you have some of these further out i would recommend probably a repeater yeah yeah so they have to be prepared for that and you know that's just one of the downsides of wi-fi Correct. the upside is that if you got good signal you can turn it on from anywhere turn it off from Correct. everywhere Correct. The anywhere downside, in the world basically. yeah yeah the downside is that you not always have great signals. Correct. Upside and the downside of everything. Absolutely. Um, I mentioned the, the color changing. Let's play around with that sure. a little bit because so, that gets pretty cool. And and let me just say, I, I've seen, I think Unique has something out there where um, I know they've had a lot of failures, but that's you know, here and over there, but they have an LED that gives you the Kelvin temperature option or a separate LED that's a color changing option. Correct. Whereas this has all in one. All, all in one on this one, you don't have to buy two different lamps. You're going to buy one lamp and it's going to do everything that you want it to do based, you know, as as for Kelvin temperature changing and color changing. Yeah, so, yeah, very cool. With that being said, let's go into color mode. Hell yeah. So what you're going to have here is, what you're going to have here is you're going to have a color wheel. So you're going to be able to go ahead and go throughout this color wheel and pick whatever color you desire at the moment. Right now, I really feel like blue. Not that I feel blue, just saying. Blue is nice. Brilliance we'll go, blue. Brilliance blue. We'll go into a lime green. We'll go into a nice red. It's a color wheel just like any you've ever seen before. You go into a color wheel, you're going to notice, you know, you're going to have all the different colors. I mean, magenta, purple, whatever you want to do. Cool thing about this is so you have two different options in the color. In the color, you can dim it, which I'm going to do here. And I will bring that down. I mean, you can see. You barely see that anymore. It's pretty... It goes down. Then we'll bring this back up. You can also mess with the saturation of the color, which is kind of cool. Which so, seems completely unnecessary, but cool. Yes, completely <laughs> unnecessary, but cool. cool. Hey, maybe you're one of those fans that really likes, you know, a really light blue or like a North Carolina Tar Heel blue or something mm -hmm. like that. You know, you can do all kinds of things with the color on this. And again, it's it's to the, you know, the, the client's liking. And you can have five of them in blue in one section and five of them in red in the other section. You can group it how you want. It's, it's all customizable to the customer and how they want it. It's, it's amazing. I mean, I can't wait to get one of these in my house, to be honest with you. Yeah, so. yeah um, I'm pretty excited myself <laughs> after you know being promised certain things from other manufacturers and then just never coming to fruition. So it's nice to see something that actually works. Absolutely. And what I'm particularly excited about uh, is the simplicity of this application because I like the smart socket. I do. But there are a lot of things on that smart socket on the application that aren't relevant to landscape lighting. 
Right. You got temperature. I don't know what that's on there for because you know you take someone else's application and and you kind of modify it. But this thing seems to be, from what I can see, more landscape lighting specific. Yes. Um, and I'm excited about that. Simplicity is key here, and, and I'll show everybody the, the new app, the updated version, but it's exciting to me, not only the color changing, but the simplicity of it. So. Absolutely, it is, it, is, it is very simple, and it does it does some pretty cool things. Yeah. So, and it's, it's very easy to use and very easy to, to initially set up. And of course, if you ever have any problems, you can get it touch with Ryan, or you can get it touch with me, or whatever. Don't happens. bring me a problem, people. <laughs> Yeah, you think in touch with us. <laughs> thanks, man. Thank you, bro. All right, thanks, guys. Take it easy.